Has gaming been a bit too relaxing for you lately? Do you need more frustration in your life? Want someone to watch your every move and taunt you? Then I have the perfect game for you. You didn't really know where you wanted to go there, did you? Will You Snail is a fast-paced platformer where an evil AI named Squid predicts your movement and spawns traps where he thinks you will go. So in order to reach the end of a level, you have to dodge lasers, spikes, projectiles and enemies, preferably without dying too much. Because whenever you do, Squid will make fun of you. Being just not quite good enough. Story of your life, am I right? There are more than a thousand voice lines for Squid, so he can comment on all your failures and be very specific about it without ever repeating himself. And he knows exactly what to say to grind your gears. Why would you not load a platformer game if you're that bad at jumping? It's an interesting take on precision platformers, because you can't just remember the position of the traps. You have to improvise and try to be unpredictable. And you need to be quick about it if you don't want to end up with a spike between your eye stalks. Originally, Will You Snail was designed to be a rage game for content creators. And even though there are four difficulty options now, easy, very easy, extremely easy and infinitely easy, this game is anything but easy. You can choose how hard you want it to be, but by default, Squid decides when it's time to adjust the difficulty. Rush through the level and he'll increase the amount or speed of traps. Die a lot and he'll turn it down a bit. But not without mocking you, of course. I just reduced the difficulty for you again, cause you're clearly too proud to do that yourself. Why do you disrespect my judgement so much? So rude. It's a relatively short game, somewhere between 4 and 6 hours, depending on your platforming skills and the difficulty level. But in this short time it introduces a variety of fun mechanics and quite a lot of secrets you might miss on your first playthrough. There are optional puzzles, collectibles, secret rooms, a special mode for when you're frustrated and a story to uncover. Of course you can also replay each level on higher difficulties to collect points and unlock achievements. The game was developed by Jonas Tyroller, who's part of the team behind Islanders and a YouTuber. I recommend checking out his hilarious devlogs that show how a fun little side project turned into a four year long odyssey. Overall, Will You Snail is a unique platformer that can be a lot of fun if you're looking for a challenge and like the idea of Squid. I do however wonder how many people would much rather watch someone else play this and help Squid with the commentary. Now if you're looking for another challenging indie game, check out my review of Archvale or take a look at Core Keeper for something a bit more relaxing. Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and let me know what you think of this game in the comments below.